guys just got off the bus. It's just before 10 o'clock at night on Wednesday night. There's a big fire here in Kurume. There are all kinds of fire and police and everybody around. Fire, police, everybody is out in full force. Hot ash flying everywhere. There's fire behind. Look at the ash coming off the top. Look at the crowd, it's crazy. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So this happened about 30 minutes ago. It started on fire. And uh, Kurume Fire Department out in full force. So it looks like a hairdressing salon on fire. told me to come across the street. There's a building right across the street from here. I said to go up on the sixth floor to get a better view. So here you go, this is this is actually from across the street. It's definitely a better view. It's unbelievable what's happening here tonight. You can see inside the building, you can see the fire still going like crazy from the top of the building. They're trying to put the flames out. They're just doing an unbelievable job. You can see the flames from up top on top of the building and they're just not going out it's just an un unbelievable fight that they're putting up here tonight in Kurume at this little hairdressing salon in Mutsuma in Kurume it's just ripping through the entire building it's just destroyed the entire building they're doing such a good job of keeping the heat off the buildings directly and you can see how there's an apartment building right beside the building that is on an fire. hour long fire and I have no idea how much longer this is going to go on but it looks like it's going to be a long night for these firemen out here tonight you can see the sparks and the flame right inside the building. Just not going down at all. It is unbelievable. It just keeps sparking up every time they put water on it. It just keeps sparking up. The whole street is blocked off. No traffic is allowed to come through here because of all this excitement tonight and all this horrible, what a tragedy this is tonight. Nothing they can do. That building is toast. The fire is just out of control. They're doing a really good job of keeping it in control and keeping it just centered onto that one building. I'm gonna try and get around behind the building and see if I can get the actual fire. It looks like they have the whole street blocked off. Even going, coming around the other side, it looks like the whole street is blocked off because it's a huge fire. Yeah, the police have it all blocked off. I'm gonna see if I can get behind him. He's got it all blocked off, but I snuck behind him. I'm going to go to the 
Um, I got here late, so I didn't hear if there's anybody inside, or anybody was trapped, but it looks like the, nobody is, is actually hurt, uh, I hope. I haven't heard all the details yet, but uh, what I can see what, what I can see is exactly what you guys are seeing right now. So. So the fire's been going active for about an hour now. Uh, I got here about half an hour before it started. It's been going for about an hour and uh, the smoke is going crazy. It's getting, smoke is, there's a lot more smoke than there was. It's just insane. Oh, look at the moon. Nice moon. I'll be back tomorrow to film whatever's left of that building. The building is totally destroyed. I mean, the amount of smoke and fire that's in there is unbelievable. There's no way anything is going to be left of that building tomorrow. The outside is all concrete and brick, but I, I think it's going to be totally destroyed. Everything inside is just unreal. They're doing a good good job, the Karume Fire Department. It's an unbelievable sight here, and just a, a real tragedy uh, uh, to have fire just destroys one of these buildings here um, in Japan. It's unbelievable. So guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll come back and I'll show you guys more film tomorrow. See what happens, see what has happened to the building. It looks like the crowd has dispersed quite a bit. There's not too many people out here as there were. They see that the fire department is actually having anything under control. And uh, there must be some business owners here that have their business across the street and uh, they must just be really worried about what's going on here. I, I, I couldn't imagine what they're going through. So about two hours later already, it's uh, just after 11 o'clock, um, the fire is still going. I think they've put it almost out here. Uh, you can just, you can totally smell everything burning, the tar and everything from the roof. It's just, you can smell like the inside of the building burning. And uh, now the police are actually asking everybody to leave uh, because everything seems to be under control, I guess, and they don't want anybody going near it. It's still a dangerous site. Uh, so th the police are actually asking us to leave, but I'm not going to leave because I want more film. Find the me, 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 me